Welcome back to another monthly favorites, everyone. This video is sponsored by Mubi. More on that later. Let's start with some updates. So I made a playlist for Tokyo Bike. Um, I haven't made playlists in a really long time and I'm starting to really miss it. And uh, I mean, I still DJ, but the whole point of making playlists for me is to find new music and then kind of like um, research new genres and stuff. But anyway, I made a playlist for Tokyo Bike and it's live now. Great for biking around, but I also think it's great for, um, I don't know, doing chores or uh, doing ceramics. It's very varied. So there's like Harry Nelson on there. There's a bit of rap. There's some instrumental. It's kind of like here and there, but I arranged it in a way to kind of keep things interesting and not just, you know, one note. I'm really proud of this playlist. I made another playlist for them a couple years ago and that was kind of a hit. I think that was the most um, followed on Spotify of their playlists. So I feel like if this playlist does better, even close to the previous playlist that I made, I would be so happy. I feel like it would be a mission accomplished. Um, I think the last playlist was all instrumental and it still did really well. Let me know your thoughts if you end up listening to it and if you have any suggestions for me um, or any new music you wanna share with me. In ceramics, I made a couple things. I made, so last month I made this like big platter ear and then I was riding my bike around and I'm like, hey, I should make like a smaller ear, like more like a life-size ear. So this is a little bit bigger than life-size, but I mean, here, you can see. Um, but it's an ashtray, so you can, you know, lay it down your um, stuff on the folds right here, or you can um, use it as an incense burner if you get the one that has a piercing. I think this would be really funny just like with a little bit of double-sided tape and then you stick it on a wall just as a piece on the wall. I had so much fun making these. They just feel really good in the hands to make and then also afterwards, like when I'm sitting on the couch, I just like to fidget with this. It just feels so nice. I also made another one that's a little bit smaller, so more to scale. And it has a little bit of uh, blue glaze on it. And this is a different clay body. It's a bit more grainy. Every month I host a giveaway of a ceramic piece that I made. Um, I want to give away one of these ears. So um, the winner will get to choose if they want it unglazed or if they want it glazed or if they want it glazed a color or if they um, want it pierced or not pierced. So I'll message you on Instagram once you've won but all you have to do to enter this giveaway um, just like every other month is you have to find this Instagram photo and then comment with your favorite emoji. Again, I'll leave all the info in the description if you are interested in winning an ear, ashtray, or incense burner, or whatever you wanna use it for. Um, yeah, it just feels so good to like play around with. I made this nose, which is meant to hang on a door, and then I gotta find like source of, of like a piercing, like an, a septum piercing so that you can use it as a door knocker but I figured this could hang on a wall and then I can stick notes in there or um, like a stash, you know? So I just thought that'd be kind of funny. And if it's a little bit higher up and you can look into the nose, you know? I just thought that'd be kind of cute. But yeah, this is the nose. What else did I make? Oh, I made this purse. And I just got out of the kiln like an hour ago. And I applied the glaze a little bit too thick so it skipped a bit, so I might have to refire it. But um, I wanted a purse that I can carry to events and um, just like have my phone, keys, wallet in it and everything and I want it to look like, you know, like a, a normal purse that you buy at a store when you like set it down. So um, yeah, I want it to just look like a purse, you know, and then it, it's not until like people come up close and like, oh shoot, it's, it's actually ceramic. So those are all the ceramics. My biggest accomplishment though, that I'm super proud of is this beret. I made this beret um, last week and I'm so excited about it because, well, especially because of the nub. I've always wanted a beret from this brand called Eugenia Kim. It's, she's a milliner in New York. I've just been a fan of her since I was, I don't know, 18 or 19. And she has this book called Saturday Night Hat where she shows you how to make different hats and um, yeah, like her hats, if you buy them at a retailer or from her store, they're around like $300 or something like that, which is totally worth 
the price, but I mean, like, especially when I was younger, I like just d couldn't justify spending that amount of money on a hat. I got this book hoping to make stuff out of it. And I did make this like mini beret and I did wear it quite often. I was showing Jason my tiny hat era um, just a couple days ago and showing him like different hats that I used to wear. Um, or hats that I used to wear. I used to wear like a veil and like tiny top hats and like feathers and all this stuff And I thought that was just normal. I made a bonnet earlier in the year um, But in the back of my mind I just kept thinking I really want to make a braid because I used to wear braids all the time I actually made a whole vlog on this which I'll link in the description, but yeah, I made this and my favorite part is the nub obviously because it's so like pronounced and just so freaking cute and I ended up um, layering a piece on the inside so that it doesn't get caught and I just love it and I can't wait for it to get cooler out so I can wear this more I just think it's the cutest thing ever I've been loving these clips lately um, for a while there I was using these long banana clips to hold up my hair but then I started using this because I saw Lisa using a smaller clip to hold up her hair and she's got like really long hair i have got really thick hair which like doesn't hold easily um so i didn't think it would work that well but because these clips are so strong i just need one to hold up my hair and i'm so stoked because i like the look of this more than i like the look of like a big claw clip it's got like a lot of um tension on it so it really holds my hair in place and there's two sets of claws so there's the inner and the outer, so I feel like it really keeps my hair in there. I actually have it on my hair right now, so. It comes in a pack of two and it's from Crown Affair. Maddie tattooed me and she gave me this little Swedish fish and it was gonna say Swedish on it and I'm like, can it just say like Maddie or something? I think it's the cutest thing ever. It's still healing, but it's so adorable. And I like the placement of it too. And it's a fish and I'm a Pisces, so. Yeah. Ooh, a candle. This is from Net, N-E-T-T-E, -T -T -E, and Tata Harper. And they came out with this candle called, the label fell off because it got kind of oily. And it just like fell right off. But this is called Into the Garden Candle. And it smells kind of like powdery. Um, I think it smells so good. And obviously I've, I've used like almost all of it. Um, but yeah, I've been trying to burn a candle every day um, to kind of just like reset the smell in the house. I don't think the house smells bad or anything, but like I just like coming home to things that smell good. So I'm trying to wear more perfume and like, yeah, just trying to like make an effort, you know? I've been really enjoying this candle and um, I really like the color of the ceramic too. All right, so this candle is made with a coconut soy blend. It's designed to transport you to a garden in the middle of summer. Um, of lifting notes of rose, Roman chamomile, violet leaf, elemi, patchouli heart, um, oak moss. This candle will make you stop and smell the roses. Biba de Sousa is an esthetician in Los Angeles and she does um, like Billy Eilish and her eyelash, eyelash, and her brother and I guess like a bunch of celebrities, I, I, I just keep seeing her stuff pop up here and there. Her PR sent me a package and I've been going through it and I love every single aspect of it, every single item. I'm currently using the cleanser. The cleanser has like little um, beads in it so it's great for exfoliation but it's not too much, it's not too harsh. It smells so good, it smells like oranges so whenever something smells good I just use it more. My favorite thing from her though is her moisturizer which I've already used up. It's super thick so great for dry skin but if you don't have dry skin you just need to use a little bit of it and it like kind of just melts into your skin. It's a marshmallowy texture. It's unlike any texture that I've ever experienced before but I use just the tiniest amount and it's fantastic. Jason loves it too, so we just kind of plowed through it super quickly. And it smells like oranges, which I love. So yeah, Biba de Sousa is my favorite skincare line at the moment. So I got an e-bike, which I'll make a separate video on. But this has been a game changer for me. I've only had it for a couple weeks, and I've already given it like 250 miles. You know that feeling when you get like a new bike for Christmas when you're a kid, and you just like have this feeling in your heart? Like, I didn't have that for any other bike as an adult. 
And then as soon as I got this, I'm like, oh my gosh, I have like a new vehicle, you know? And it's just so exciting. I barely use my car now. I just use the bike to run errands and it's pedal assist. So you can control like how much effort you put into it. Oh, the bike is called the Urban Glide Ultra from Van Powers. I go to the post office almost every single day. And if like, if I go in the morning and then I get an order, um, I'll still like take a separate trip. I don't, I won't even wait for the next day because I'm just so excited to use the bike, you know? So I've been putting a lot of hours on it and a lot of time on it. And now I'm able to actually take longer trips because before I think my maximum would be 20 miles that I can ride on a bike. And now I can do like 40 and not even break a sweat, you know? So I can go on longer rides with Jason and he likes to go on like really long rides and like really fun adventurous rides. So yeah, it's like a really nice like bonding experience for us. So um, I'll make a separate video on that because there's just so much to talk about in terms of this bike. I did get a new helmet because I did fall off my bike because I was being dumb and going too fast, but thank goodness I was wearing a helmet and the helmet like kind of broke in the front area, which means that if I wasn't wearing a helmet then I would have like smashed my face in. I did scratch my chin and like my arms and my legs and stuff. If I wasn't wearing a helmet, it would have been just so much worse, but I got a new helmet from the same brand, it's Thousand. So if you get one of their helmets and it gets stolen or it gets um, broken because you fell off your bike or whatever, then they'll send you a new one. You just need to reach customer service. I love this helmet so much. They made some updates to it, so it's a little bit more streamlined. It's a little bit smaller. Um, it's not as like rounded and the vents go this way instead of the other way so that like if you're riding super fast going downhill or something you won't hear whistling noises because i did hear whistling noises on the other helmet which i didn't really mind i thought it sounded cool there's a little indent in the back it's magnetized so that you can clip on um they sell these like lights so that you can you know stay safe the updates are pretty awesome it's more comfortable and more stylish in my opinion so yeah i really like this colorway too so those are all my favorites for the month of october thank you so much for watching i want to put in a quick word for my sponsor which is Mubi. Mubi is a curated streaming service dedicated to elevating great cinema from all around the globe. Get a whole month free at Mubi.com slash Christine. From iconic directors to emerging auteurs, there is always something new to discover. With Mubi, each and every film is hand-selected by a team of curators. Discover the best of cinema at your fingertips, streaming anytime, anywhere. I revisited a few films last month, but one that really stuck out to me, which I think would be good for October, is called The Love Witch. I I think it'd be really cute to project a movie like Love Witch um, by Anna Biller at a party, like um, project it onto a wall and then just have the sound off or something. If you haven't seen it, it's an amazing film. It's very artfully done. It's about this beautiful young lady who um, tries to seduce men and she uses spells and potions and it's kind of a comedy, but also a drama, but also slightly horror. Even though the film came out in 2016, it doesn't feel like 2016. It's very like 70s inspired. Even the music and the styling and the clothes and the cars in the background, they just put a lot of effort into this film, you can tell. I don't wanna give away too much, but it's such an inspiring film and I love the makeup. If you're into costume and makeup and hair, this is a great, film to watch. Perfect for Halloween, but really perfect for any time. Someone decided to join me. Hey, this is Annie. Ooh. Again, thank you, Mubi, for sponsoring this video.